Hi. Hi. Hi to everybody. In this lecture video, we are going to be dealing with chapter 7. And the chapter 7 is about the Hamiltonian's uh, principle, the Lagrangian and Hamiltonian's uh, dynamics. Now, the goals for this uh, chapter, number one, is you will know the Hamiltonian's principle. And number two, you will know the Lagrangian equation of motion. And you will understand the equivalence of Lagrange's and, and Newton's uh, equations. And you will understand the essence of Lagrangian uh, dynamics. And you will also know the theorem concerning the kinetic energy linear and angular momentum and you also know the canonical equation of motion which is nothing else but the hamiltonian dynamics and you also be expected to be able to solve the problems on all of the above now if the particle is constrained to move on a given surface a certain forces must exist and those forces are called the forces of constraint that actually maintain the particle in contact with that specified surface for an example for an example if the particle has to move on the horizontal smooth surface, the only force which makes this particle attached to, to this surface is nothing else but that will be mg. Right. The forces of constraint is just simply the, the mg. However, if we change, say you have a curved wire like this, a circular uh, wire, and then you put your bed in there, and then this bed is moving down the, the, the curved um, surface of the wire. Therefore, in that case, the forces of, of constraint will definitely be, be very, very complex. Right. Now, but in solving a problem by using the Newtonian uh, procedure, we must know all the forces because the quantity F that appears in the fundamental equation is the total force acting on, on, the, on the body. An alternative method of dealing with uh, complicated mechanics problems in a general manner is contained in what you call the Hamiltonian uh, principle. And the equation of motion resulting from the application of these principles are called the Lagrange's uh, equation. Now, the minimal principle when we actually look into the Hamiltonian's uh, uh, principle in details. The minimum principle is uh, predicated on the notion that nature always minimizes certain importance quantities when a physical process uh, takes place. And the Hamiltonian principle may be stated as follows. All of the possible paths along with a dynamic system may move from one point to another within a specified time interval consistent with any constraints, the actual path followed is that to which minimizes the time integral of the difference between the kinetic and the potential energy. Now, in terms of the calculus of variation, the Hamiltonian's principle is just given by, 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 this, by this equation, where this kinetic energy, where this T is kinetic energy and the U is the potential energy. And this uh, uh, delta, this delta is nothing else but is just a uh, a shortened notation to describe the variation as discussed in 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 chapter in chapter six right now i just want you to to note the following do you see that uh, we just have to integrate t minus minus u now this t minus u is nothing else but it is just called the lagrangian and the other books are just writing that in terms of of this simple so this is the lagrangian which is nothing else but the the difference between the the kinetic energy and the potential energy right so that's 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 what uh, i want you to see but this uh, uh, variational uh, statement of the principle requires only that the integral that integral the lagrangian be an extremium be an extremium right now we 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 must always remember that when we talk about the the kinetic energy the kinetic energy actually depends on the on the velocity or the velocity it depends on the velocity it depends on the on the velocity and the velocity is nothing else but the velocity is is just the x dot while the the u that t t will just be a function of of the velocity that's why you see the dot uh, the velocity but the u the potential energy is always is always a function of 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 just of just that xi why because now if you remember the potential energy is nothing else for an example is mg 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 h or that h can be y or it can be x depending on the on the on the coordinate uh, system so it is clear that uh, the 
the kinetic energy it depends on the uh, velocity the function of the velocity why the potential energy is the function of 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 of, of the position right now if we determine the difference between these quantities uh, by l which is nothing else but is the lagrangian and i hope uh, you can agree with me from the previous chapter that we can just write this in terms of lxi uh, the, the lagrangian in terms of this where this uh, depends uh, uh, refers to the potential l why this d uh, refers to the kinetic energy term now the, therefore the hamiltonian principle will therefore becomes will just become this the hamiltonian principle will just become this equation that you are seeing there right now the function l appears in the expansion may be identified with the function f of the variational uh, integral that we have done in in, in chapter 6 so this is the the, the the function f the integral of function f that we have done in, in chapter 6 now if we use the following uh, transformation if we change x to t and then y y as function of x to x as a function of t and the y prime we change it to x dot and then we change that function f to this uh, l or the Lagrangian as a function of uh, the position and the function of the 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 x dot which is nothing else but the velocity now in that case the euler Lagrangian equation will just be uh, corresponding to this corresponding to that because now we have to change everything in terms of this and based on this transformation the that uh, Lagrangian or the Hamiltonian principle equation will just be this and therefore the Euler equation for that will just be given given by by this equation and that equation is what you call the Lagrangian equation of of motion so that's that's the the, the Lagrangian equation equation of 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 motion for for this for this uh, uh, Hamiltonian uh, principle right now these are the Lagrangian equation of motion for a particle and the quantity l is called Lagrange function or Lagrangian as I have I have already already stated. Now, for an example, uh, let us uh, obtain the Lagrange equation of motion for the one-dimensional harmonic oscillator. Now, with the usual expression for the kinetic and the potential energy, we have this is what we have for 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 the for for the Lagrangian or the the Lagrange function. So the difference between the kinetic and potential energy, we know that this the kinetic energy is just given by this. While the potential energy, of course, for the harmonic oscillator is just given by, by this equation here. Now, from that equation, what we want to solve, what we want to solve, what we want to solve is we want to solve this equation dx minus d dt d d x dot which is equal to zero so that's the equation that we we really want to solve now in this case we when you differentiate that in order for you to be able to to replace this equation we just have to we just have to to differentiate l with respect to x and now when you do that this is what you are going to have because the only term which uh, depends on x is this term there now if you differentiate that it will just give us minus kx and now when you do the differentiation of l with respect to to x dot this is what you are going to have only this term will be taken into account and that will be m m x now if you take the time derivative of this equation taking into account that m doesn't vary is a constant therefore this is just going to be m x double dot right now if you take everything you plug back into the into the into the if you plug back into the into the uh, Lagrange equation of uh, motion uh, that will just be given by 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 this by this equation which is nothing else but is identical to the equation of motion obtained using the Newtonian uh, mechanics as you have done it in the previous uh, uh, classes now that continue to illustrate the method by using the the plain uh, pendulum uh, for an example the one given in section in chapter 4 now if we use the 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 the, the, the lagrangian based on the kinetic energy and the potential energy 
of 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 that, then the Laplacian equation will just be given by this. Will just be given by by this equation. Now, what we always want to do is to, we can just see that uh, we, we we now treat theta as as if it were a rectangular uh, coordinates and apply the operation uh, specified by Lagrange equation of motion. Now, in that case, because this depends on 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 the, on, on on the theta, therefore we are just going to be uh, doing the differential uh, differentiation of uh, of of Lagrange with respect to theta. This is what you are going to have because the only term that will be taken into account is this term, is this term here. Because it's, it's, it's got theta. That term is got theta dot. And theta dot is not the same as theta, of course. Now, in that case, this is what you are going to have. You differentiate that. And this minus multiplied by minus is just going to give us a positive MGL cosine of theta. But now, if you differentiate that, that will give us minus sine uh, MGL sine, sine of theta. Now, if you do the differentiation of Lagrange with uh, respect to the, uh, uh, theta dot, this term will just be zero, and that will just be ml 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 squared theta dot. That will be ml squared theta dot. Now, if you take the time derivative of that, this is what you you are going to have. You are going to have the double dot uh, uh, there because all these other terms are just constant, right? Now, if you plug everything back to the Lagrange equations, I'm going to write it here down for 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 the last time. If you put everything back to the Lagrange equation which is d d l d d x dot uh, d d d t so now that must just be equal to zero now if you put everything back that's that's the equation of motion that you are you are going to 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 have which is again identical with the newtonian results in in chapter in chapter in chapter four specifically the equation 4.221 right now let us also uh, uh, talk about the the generalized uh, uh, coordinates. We give the name a generalized coordinates to any set of quantities that uh, completely specify the state of a system. The general coordinate system are customarily written as 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 q q q. For an example, if you have uh, uh, x x is only a specific because it's only for 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 x. But now, if we talk about the generalized uh, coordinate system, we are just going to have to have to have q. Q, 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 G. Right. right. Now, now the, the the generalized velocity will just be nothing else but it will just be Q, Q dot Q dot J, Q dot J. That would be Q, Q dot J. So that's that's what I am actually trying to 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 raise there. Now we define the Q dot J as the generalized uh, velocity, as the generalized uh, velocity. Now, if we allow the possibility that the equation concerning the x and the qi explicitly contain the time, then the set of transformation equation is given by, by, by the following equation. Now, because uh, this x, uh, it can just be written in terms of the generalized, in terms of the generalized, because we have many uh, coordinates there. But now, in terms of the generalized coordinate, you can just write qi, uh, uh, qj, uh, and the function of, of, of t also. All right. Now, in that case, uh, the, in the rectangular components of the uh, velocity, we just have to, to take the, 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 uh, the velocity and then we differentiate with respect to, to time. And now, if we do that, that can be written by, by this equation. And I also want you to, to, to see uh, the fact that this is actually depending on the on the, the coordinates as well as the uh, the generalized uh, velocity and and uh, and also a function of of time right now we may also write the inverse uh, transformation in terms of this this is just going to be the the inverse uh, uh, transformation for for that uh, uh, now you are just going to to have this equation in terms of the uh, the the inverse uh, transformation now there are m is equal to three n minus s equation of the constraint of 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 the form of this of this e equation that you are seeing there. We will just do the, some examples in order to make this uh, 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 make sense to you. Now let us just uh, first do the example seven point one, which 
uh, states that you have to find a suitable set of generalized equations for a point particle moving on the surface of a hemisphere of radius r, whose center is at the origin. Now, if you solve that, the equation of the sphere is just uh, similar to that equ equation of the circle, but it's, it's got some extra uh, dimension. For an example, it's got h, k, and, and n. Now, because the particle is moving on the surface, this h, k, and n will just be b0, and then the equation of the uh, of that uh, uh, will just be given by, by this equation. This is just the same equation uh, because the particle is only the motion takes place only on the surface. Therefore, h is equal to zero and k is equal to zero and l is equal to is equal to zero. Therefore, the equation will just be given by by that equation. Now let us also uh, uh, use our generalized uh, coordinates and uh, the cosine of the angle between the x, y, and and z. Now exists and the line uh, connecting the the particle with the the, the origin. Now, now you will agree with me that, that if that, that is the case, the, 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 the generalized uh, coordinate system, uh, remember that we are always using uh, uh, the, if I have to draw that, this is what you are going to have for, for, the, for, the, for the now if the particle is somewhere here it's somewhere here and then you go that that is my, my vector r. Now if, if this is my my q1 and then I mean if this is my 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 q1 which is nothing else but it's just the the X it's just the the X coordinate and then you also have the the q2 here which is nothing else but this is just equivalent to y and then you also have the q3 there which can be related to to Z z coordinates so, so now, now the, the the cosine of 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 this uh q1 will just be this that will be that that will be that now the the cosine the the, uh, the cosine for the for the q2 will just be referring to that angle now the cosine for for the for the uh for the q3 will just be referring to to this angle here to this angle here. Now, now you will also agree with me that uh, that will just be given by by these equations there. It will just be given by that equation there. Now the sum of the square of the cosines of of the line equals unity, and that is just going to to be the equation, right? Now from there we can just make the q three a subject of the formula. Now if we make the q3 a subject of the formula this is the equation that you are going to have now from that equation from that equation if we use the fact that this is given by that therefore you are just going to to have this this equation here for for argument's sake let much uh, let me just do it a little bit quick uh, for you now if you have the q3 q3 is equal to the square root of 1 minus q1 squared minus q q2 squared now in that case if you know what is the q Q, Q3, the Q3 was just given as, as Z divided by R. Now it's just going to be equals to the square root of, the square root of, I want to write that as R squared divided by R squared because it's just nothing else but it's one. That is just going to be given as X squared over, over R squared minus the, the Y squared divided by, by, by R squared. Now we can factor out, we can factor out the, the R and then that will be just 1 over r is nothing else but it's just going to be given as r squared minus x squared plus minus y y squared sorry and that will be z over over r but this term the r will just cancel and then you will end up with the that equation that you are actually seeing down there so that's that's which is sufficient to uniquely specify the position of the particle this uh, should be an obvious uh, result because only two coordinates, uh, which is, is uh, latitude and uh, longitude, are uh, necessary to specify a point on the surface of of, of the sphere, on the surface, on the surface of the sphere. All right, good. Now let us also uh, do the following uh, uh, example seven point two. Use the x y coordinate system of the below figure to find the kinetic energy potential 
energy and the Lagrangian for a simple pendulum of length L. And mass of the bob is just M. So the mass of the bob there is just equal to M. I'm sorry for the spelling there. And moving in the X and Y, the plane determine the transformation equation from the X and uh, uh, rectangular system to the uh, coordinate uh, theta. Find the equation of, of motion. Now, in this case, we are just going to have the kinetic energy. Uh, if we use the, the Lagrange, in this case, the kinetic energy will just be given in terms of the, the, the x and, and then plus the, 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 the y coordinates. And then that x dot is nothing else but just the velocity in the x direction. And that is the velocity in the, in the y direction. And of course, the potential energy will just be given by mg mgy now the lagrangian the lagrangian is nothing else but is the difference between the kinetic minus the potential energy which is nothing else but it's just given by by this equation by that equation now we can also look at the diagram and uh, we can actually uh, transform x and y into the coordinate theta and then we can also find the lagrangian in terms of of theta why because on the Diagram on the diagram, of course, we can see that the x is equal to L sine of theta, and then the y is just equal to minus L cosine of, of theta. Now, in order for us to have the Lagrangian, we just have to have the x dot and the y dot. And now, if you do that, the x dot, the x dot is just going to, to be given by you differentiate this, you differentiate this function using the chain rule. If you differentiate that function, it's just going to give you L cosine of theta and then you differentiate using the chain rule and then that will be multiplied by uh, theta dot and uh, the same will also happen with the the, the the y dot now this is what you are going to have and now if you plug everything back into the lagrangian this is what you are going to have if you plug everything back into the lagrangian but in here you can factor out the l squared and then if you factor out the l squared and you use the fact that the sine squared theta plus the cos squared theta is equal to one if you use that identity therefore you are just going to to simplify the equation to be to be given by by this equation here now in that case you are now ready to be uh, uh, to, to to get the the equation of motion now in that case if you because this equation depends on 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 theta therefore we can write the the Lagrange equation of motion in, uh, with respect to to theta therefore when you differentiate this with respect to theta this term is not going to contribute but the only term that is going to contribute is, is this one now if you differentiate this it's just going to give you mg minus mgl sine of of theta as you are seeing it there now if you differentiate with respect to to theta dot, this is what you are going to have. And of course, there must be a dot there. I am just trying to say, now if you differentiate uh, that equation there, that equation there, um, over to L theta dot squared, L theta dot squared, and then you also have, uh, have the square in terms of L here. Now, now, say this is a function of, of x, this is, uh, the function of theta, sorry, the function of theta. Now, if you have to get the, the theta prime, you are just going to differentiate that, and then you are just going to have 2, m over 2, and then that will be L squared theta, theta dot. This is what I'm trying to say. Now, this is nothing else, but it's just going to be m L squared theta dot. So, so, as you can see, that I've forgotten to write the theta dot in that equation there. Now, if you have that, and then you have to take the time derivative of this. Now, if you have to take the time the time derivative of that prime, you are just going to have m, m, l, because these are just constant, and then you are just going to have theta double dot there. Right. So, that's that's what I want you 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 to see good so now if you plug everything back into the Lagrangian equation which is nothing else but this but this minus minus that so the equation of motion will just be given by by this right
Now, let us also talk about the Lagrangian equation of motion in the generalized uh, coordinate. Now, in view of the definition in the uh, 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 proceeding section, we may now state the Hamiltonian's principle as follows. Of all the possible paths along which a dynamic system may move from one point to another in a configuration space within a specified time interval, the actual path followed is that with minimize the time the integral of Lagrangian function for, for, for the system. Right. Now, we can actually write the, the it is therefore immaterial whether we express the Lagrangian in terms of the of the specific uh, coordinates or as the generalized uh, coordinates. Therefore, this the, the L will just be given by this because we know that the kinetic term it depends on on the x dot, while the potential term depends on on the on the on the on just the the, the coordinates on just the coordinates and therefore in terms of the generalized uh, coordinates we can just write this in terms of of this right so this is what we are going to have for 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 the for the lagrangian now uh, uh, that is the lagrangian is actually nothing else but in terms of the uh, general coordinates it just depends on 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 many many coordinates and then as a function of time also therefore that can just be written in terms of of this so this is what you are going to have uh, uh, in terms of the Lagrangian. Right. Now, the Hamiltonian's uh, principle, therefore, is just given by this. That is just going to be the Hamiltonian's uh, principle. Now, from that uh, Hamiltonian's principle, if we, we identify, if we use the, or if we make the, the following identification that we change x into t, we transform that uh, y to that, and then this to this, and then that function to that. Therefore, the Euler's equations, uh, the Euler's equation or, or the variation problem state in the above Hamiltonian's uh, principle will therefore, becomes, will therefore become becomes this in terms of the generalized coordinate, uh, coordinates. So this is what you are going to have. Right. Now, the Euler-Lagrange equation of motion of the system usually simplifies called the Lagrange equations. Right. Now, it is also important to realize that the Validity of Lagrange equation requires the, the following two, two conditions. And the first one is the forces acting on the system, apart from any forces of constraint, must be uh, the variable from a, a potential or several potential. Now, the equation of constraints must be in relation that uh, connects the coordinates of the particle and may be a function of, of time might also be a function of time. Now, if the constraint can be expressed as an in condition two, they attempt a holonomic constraint. If the equation do not explicitly contain the time, they are said to be fixed, and the moving constraints are what you call the rhonic ro uh, uh, equation. Now, let us also do the, the following uh, example 7.3. Consider the case of a projectile motion under the gravity in two dimensions as shown in this uh, figure. Now, find the equation of motion in both a Cartesian and the, and the polar coordinates. So, this is what you, 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 you are given. Now, we just have to find the equation of motion. For, uh, first of all, for us to get the equation of motion, we need to first determine the Lagrangian. Now, in that case, the kinetic energy, in order for us to be able to determine the Lagrangian, we need to know the kinetic energy and we also have to know the, the potential energy. Now, first, in the Cartesian coordinate, we just have this. This is what you are going to have in, in Cartesian coordinates. Now, for u is equal to 0 at y is equal to 0, then therefore the Lagrangian equation is just uh, given uh, by this. The Lagrangian function or Lagrangian is just given by by this equation. Now we are ready to to find the equation of motion. Now the equation of motion we are just going to be differentiating for the last time we are just going to be differentiating that the Lagrangian with respect to to x and then we are just going to to be taking the time derivative of the Lagrangian when differentiating with respect to 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 x dot and that must just be equal to zero in order for us to get the, the equation of motion. Now, if you do that, if you do that, what are you going to have if you do that? Now, if you do that, if you differentiate with respect to, to x, if you differentiate this with respect to x, there's no x, therefore that term will just be zero. But if you differentiate that with respect to to x dot, this is what you are going to have. We are just going to have, if you differentiate that, this is the only uh, term that is going to be 
important and now they, they, uh, you are just going to have a two over two mx dot and then the two will cancel and then you will end up with this now the equation of motion in that case will just be equal to zero will just be equal to zero but now in terms of y in terms of y because we also have y here now if you differentiate this with respect to, to y this is just uh, uh, going to be a this term which is going to contribute is just going to be minus mg but now if we differentiate with respect to y dot we are just going to have my dot my dot and then if you take the term derivative of that we are just going to have my double dot now if you rearrange the equation because the m's will just cancel we are just going to have m double dot is equal to minus minus g which is uh, the equation of, of 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 motion but now in polar we have the expression for the velocity the expression for the velocity in polar coordinate is just given by by this equation now if for us to be able to get the kinetic energy we just have to get the square the square of the velocity the square of the velocity therefore you square this term which is nothing else but it, it will just be r r dot square plus r theta dot all square now if you plug that into the kinetic energy term this is what you are going to have and the potential energy the potential energy will just be given by 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 this step why that is the case remember on the diagram on the diagram on the diagram this is what you you had on the diagram so the projectile and then you have your your angle theta you have your angle theta in that case therefore the y the y will just be given in terms of in terms of what the y will just be given in terms of the in terms of the in terms of the r r the sign of of theta now if you plug that into the equation of the potential energy because the potential energy is just mg mgy now in that case you are just going to have mg mg r sign of of theta so that's 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 what you are actually seeing in that in that uh, equation there right now if you have to take the Lagrangian and where u is equal to zero at, at theta is equal to zero. This is what you are going to have. Now we are ready to 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 use the Lagrangian equation of of motion. Now if you do that, if you differentiate that with respect to to r, if you differentiate that with respect to r, and only if you differentiate that with respect to r, this is what you are going to have because this term has r. You are going to have mr mr theta dot squared. But minus mg r sin theta with respect to r, this is what you are going to have. And then, if you differentiate that with respect to r dot, if you this, uh, differentiate the the Lagrangian with uh, respect to r dot, this is what you are going to have with respect to 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 r dot. To r dot, the only this term will just be important, and that will be mr dot mr dot and then if you take the time derivative for that you are just going to have mr double dot which is nothing else uh, but this one and the m's will just cancel and as a result the equation of motion will just be given by by this equation here now we can also do it for theta if we do it for theta when you apply the same same procedure and in that equation there you differentiate with respect to theta this is the only term that you are going to be uh, important and then when you differentiate with respect to uh, theta dot this is the only term that is going to be and then if you put everything back into the language equation of motion this is what you are going to have and the equation of motion will just be written in terms of of this right now let us also do the the uh, example 7.5 the point of a uh, support of a simple pendulum as shown in this diagram of length b moves on a massless rim of radius a rotating with the constant uh, angular velocity omega obtain the expression for the cartesian components of the velocity and acceleration of the the mass m and also obtain the angular acceleration of the uh, uh, the angle theta shown in in the above now for us to be able to 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 get the velocity we need to get the position first and the position in terms of x it will be the x in terms of this varying angle with respect to time and then plus the x part with respect to to y to 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 to, to this angle theta and the y will also be with respect to theta plus the with respect to to omega now from that diagram when you take the 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 x the x will just be given by this as a function of the the, 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 
the, the, the omega C and then it's a function of the theta and the y will just be given by, by that. Now for us to get the velocity we just have to take the the we differentiate uh, with respect to, to, to time. Now if you do that this is what you are going to have and then you apply the chain rule in this case. If you differentiate the cosine is the sine omega and then you apply the chain rule you differentiate omega with respect to t and then you have the omega because the x dot is the differentiate with respect to time therefore this is what you are going to have and also for the for the for the for, for the y this is what you are going to have now we are ready now because we know uh, the velocity we just square the term of, of the velocity in order to for us to get the the, the kinetic energy now but before we can do that we have to get the acceleration if we have to get the acceleration we 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 we, we differentiate again now if you differentiate that again this is what you you are going to have in order for us to have the acceleration and then the y double prime is is just going to be given by this now maybe uh, we can just uh, do this i mean if we differentiate this again if we differentiate this again this is what you are this is what you are going to have this is what you are uh, going going to have you apply the chain rule in this this what you are going to have for example if we take the first term there if we take the first term there if we take the first term there, there if we differentiate this again this is just going to be the cosine of omega t a omega and then you also differentiate omega t that will be give the omega squared there that uh, uh, that is what you are going to have but, but in this case as you can see you just have to apply the product rule you just have to apply the product rule the product rule i mean i mean you just have if you have two functions say you have uh, a function is equals to f fg this function h depends now if you have to take the h prime this is just going to be that g and then plus g prime you differentiate g and then you leave f and you should not forget to also apply the chain rule so now if you do that this is what you are going to have for 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 that equation because you have two function tests and then that's what you are going to have now for an example let us just uh, do it for for argument's sake see i have b uh, i have b b theta and then you have cos cos theta now in that case i can this is a constant this is a constant this is a constant let us just forget about that constant b and then only focus on on this now in that case i'm just going to leave i'm, I'm just going to leave theta and then i differentiate that if i differentiate that i'm just going to have the minus sign of of theta but i differentiate that again that will be a theta dot which will just going to give me a give me theta squared there but now that will be a plus now i leave the cosine i leave the cosine i leave the the the, the cosine i leave the cosine the cosine of theta but i differentiate this with respect to time now if i differentiate this with respect to time it will just give me theta double dot and i don't want to write it there but i want to write it on this side theta double dot so now we, then you can just multiply by by b so therefore this is what you are just going to have right now if you plug everything back into that equation this is what you are going to have as an equation of motion and you apply the same with the the the, the, the y double dot so that would be your equation of motion now it should now be clear that the single uh, generalized uh, coordinate is theta the kinetic and the potential energies are are just given by by this and uh, u are uh, is just given by by this equation there now the lagrangian equation in that case is just given by 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 this because we know uh, what is this t therefore you just have have this now if you do the lagrangian uh, the lagrangian if you differentiate with respect to 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 d theta if you differentiate with respect to d theta this is what you are going to have this is what you are going to have and then the d d the time derivative of the lagrangian with respect to uh, 
Uh, a DC type is just given by this, and then if you plug everything back, the equation of motion will just be given by by this by this equation. Notice that this results reduces to a well-known equation of motion for a single pendulum when omega when omega is equal to zero. When omega is equal to zero, this term will just vanish, and then this will just be the equation of pendulum that we have already already done. Good. Let us also do the the following uh, uh, example. A bed slide along a smooth uh, wire bed in the shape of a parabola. Uh, given by uh, z is equal to c r squared, as shown in the figure, the bed rotates in a circle of radius r when the wire is rotating about the vertical asymmetry axis uh, with angular velocity. Find the the value of c. Now, in order for us to find the value of c, uh, we just have to start with because this is in cylindrical symmetry. Therefore, the velocity in cylindrical uh, 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 coordinates, and then the square of the velocity will just be given by by this in cylindrical coordinates. Please, I. Encourage you to look at the the, the velocity on in, in cylindrical coordinates, or you can even uh, def, uh, uh, derive and then you take the square. Therefore, you can be able to see that the kinetic energy term will just be given by this. Now, in this case, you you want to choose that the u is equal to zero and z is equal to. Therefore, the potential energy term is nothing else but it's just mgz. It's just mgz, taking into account the the the, the coordinates given on the on the figure. Therefore. The equation of constraint for a parabola is just given by that, and uh, of course we have z z dot there, and then we just have to take the z dot. If we take the z dot and we use the chain rule, this is what we are going to have. We differentiate that, and then we differentiate r. This is what we are going going to have for 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 the z. Right now we are ready to plug things. Uh, back, but however we can also see that the theta is equal to omega t for the angular rotation and now if we differentiate this with respect to t we are just going to have theta dot is equal to omega now we can just put everything back into that equation because we have all this whenever we see the z dot we are just going to put this whenever we see uh, theta dot we are just going to put omega right now if you plug everything back there this is what you are just going to to have because z is just given by by this that's why you you have this 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 equation there right now if we substitute or if we do the the Lagrangian equation of motion, so this is what you are going to have. If we differentiate with respect to, to R, if you differentiate with respect to R, this is what you are going to have. You are going to differentiate this term and uh, this other one. If you differentiate this term, you are just going to have 2R omega squared, but the twos will cancel. Therefore, that's why you have this one. And with respect to R, you also have this term. So this is what you are going to have. But the R dot, the R dot, you are just going to differentiate with respect to this term here, which is 2R. And then for that term here, you are just going to have this. These other terms, they don't have the R, R dot. Therefore, this is what you are going to have. But you, now, if you take the time derivative of that, if you take the time derivative of that, this is what you are going to have. You are just going to have 2R dot. But in here, you just apply the chain rule. You just apply the, the, the chain rule. Now, if you apply the chain rule in that case, this is what you are going to have. You apply the plural rule and the chain rule. This is what you, you are going to have. Now, if you plug uh, everything into the Lagrange's equation of motion, uh, becomes becomes this. It becomes this. Which, of course, uh, uh, which, of course, is a complicated uh, result. If, however, the bed uh, rotates with R is equal to R, is just a constant. R dot is, uh, is equal to the R dot, which is just equal to zero. Therefore, this equation becomes, becomes this. This are uh, uh, it becomes this, uh, and and uh, the value of c, uh, the value of c is just given given by by that. Now, if you put the 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 r to be zero, this term will vanish, this term will vanish, and that other term will vanish, and then the only term that we are just going to to have is this term here. It is just that that term. Uh, which is, I think there must be uh, this S here, this S, sorry, sorry for that mistake, that S is, is supposed to be 2, that S is supposed to be 2, I'm very sorry, I'm very sorry, let me just do it for you, 
let me just do it for you. Okay. Now, if that term, uh, just in one moment, I just want to make sure that I see that equation. Now, now the, the equation that we are just going to have is that equation, the, the R, 2GC, 2GC minus omega, omega squared, is equal to zero. Now, in that case, R is equivalent to big R. That will have, therefore, we just have 2G times C minus R omega squared is equal to zero. Now this will just be 2R. Now this will just be, in simple terms, this will just be, that will be, I wanted to, to delete this. That will be, that will be C. C is just given by, by, And this R is also that big R. Therefore, that will be R omega squared divided by RC. Therefore, this will cancel the other one. Therefore, you also have that too. So that's why you, you have that term there. So I'm very sorry. That S there, please note that. That S there, that S, it was meant to be, to be two. Very sorry for this uh, inconvenience. That that uh, that R, that S there, it's, it was meant to be to be two, and there was supposed to be a minus sign here for this one day. Right. Good. Now the Lagrangian equation with an undetermined multiplier constraint that R can be expressed as algebraic relation amongst the coordinates are holonomic uh, constraints, and then. Any constraint that m must be expressed in terms of the velocities of the uh, particles in the system are of the form of this form. Uh, constituting non homological constraint unless the equation can be integrated to yield the relations amongst the, the coordinates. Now, consider a constraint a relation of the form of this form. It must just be equal to zero. Now, in that case, in a general equation, this, uh, non -e this is non-integrable, -e and therefore the constraint is non ho non holonomic now but consider if we have the ia is given by this equation and b is just given by 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 this now in that case this f is just a function of x and, and, and t therefore that equation can just be written in terms of this this equation now in that case this for this to be zero that will mean that this must just be equal to zero which can be integrable to find the function of uh, f, f f as a function of uh, the coordinates and t minus the constant is just equal to zero. So the constraint is actually uh, holonomic. Now in that case, uh, for from the present discussion, we conclude that the constraint expressible in differential form s as this are equivalent to those having the form of equation 7, 7.9. Sorry, I will just be naming the equations now and I want you to bear with me because the, uh, this lecture video will be too long. Now you just go back to look at that the equation 7.9. Now in that case, the Lagrangian equation will just be, be given by, by, by this equation here. So that is just going to be your Lagrangian equation. It will just be given by, by that equation there. Now, the undetermined multiplier lambda are closely related to the force of, of constraint. The generalized force of constraint uh, is just QI. Now, if everything everything here is just given as QI, which is a force of constraint, and that will just be given by, by that. Now, that, that equation can just be replaced by 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 qg which is the force of constraint now to make things make sense let us just do the following uh, quick example let us consider again the case of the disc uh, rolling down an inclined uh, plane find the equation of motion for the uh, constraint of and then the angular acceleration now in that case we know that d 
kinetic energy will just be uh, consisting of of two terms which is a transition tra uh, transitional as well as the uh, rotational and where i is the moment of initial of the disk and now that i is just given by mr squared so this is what you are going to have for the kinetic energy term and then the u the u term will just be given as mg l minus y a sign of of theta and now in this case in this case the the y the y will just be b l minus 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 y uh, because the the potential energy the u the u is just m g y but in that diagram the y because if this is rolling down and then this if that is the the length l the total length is l but now if this has moved a certain distance y a certain distance y if it has moved a certain distance y now in terms of how much the has the particle moved how much has the particle moved in terms of that and then if you have here you have you have alpha if here you have alpha if you have you have alpha what are you going to have what are you going to have you have alpha here the y will be the the, the y will be defined in terms of of uh, uh, r if r if this is r but that r that r is nothing else but it's just l minus minus y the the sign of of that i hope you understand that so that will be your your potential energy term now the lagrangian will therefore be given by that now after having that we know that the 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 equation of constraint is nothing else but it's just y is equal to r theta which is equal to zero now in terms of the lagrangian equations in this case in terms of y we are just going to have this and in terms of theta we are just going to have this so now in that case for 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 uh, performing the differentiation we obtain for the equation of motion if you differentiate this equation with respect to y and you differentiate this equation with respect to dy which is nothing else but it's just going to be to be to be to uh, this this equation uh, with respect to to that this is what you are going to have because you are only going to be focusing on that uh, for for this term and now if you take the time derivative and you've got the lambda there and then if you differentiate the function f with respect to to y to y if you differentiate with respect to y you are just going to have what now if you apply everything because this if you differentiate this with respect to y this is just going to be one this is just going to be y because this term is not going to take part and then we are just going to differentiate y therefore that's why you have one there right now when you do it for theta and you substitute the equation on the lagrange equation of motion this is what you are going to have right i hope you are able to see to see that for an example let us just uh, focus on this term you are just going to have lambda lambda and then you differentiate with respect to f with respect to to theta therefore you are just going to have r minus r therefore this is what you are going to have for for that equation right and these other terms of course for an example if you differentiate with respect to theta then you are just going to have zero this term will be zero but if uh, with respect to to theta dot this is the only term that is going to be uh, differentiated now this is what you are going to have for the equation of motion now from the constraint equation we have a uh, y is given by by this uh, r is equal to uh, y is equal to r theta now these equations uh, constitute a soluble uh, system of uh, three unknowns y theta and, and lambda differentiating the equation of constraints we we, we obtain this if you differentiate the equation of uh, uh, constraint therefore this is what you are uh, going to have now uh, combining the equation seven uh, these equations we we can just find that lambda is just given by that and now and then using this expression in that equation this results in the y double uh, dot is just given by by this equation and with lambda with lambda is equal to this 
with lambda is equal to this. Therefore, uh, the that equation 7.1b uh, will just result in this uh, theta double dot is just given by that equation. Now, those we have three equation of of for 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 uh, quantities y double dot and y and theta double dot and uh, as well as the uh, lambda and that can be immediately e integrated and uh, we know that if the disk were to slide without the friction down at uh, the plane we will have this this equation here without without the friction but this uh, term of the factor of two over three is actually uh, 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 now, therefore, the, the rolling constraint uh, reduces the acceleration uh, due to a friction by a factor of uh, 2 over 3. Now, the magnitude of the force of friction producing the constraint is, is just uh, this lambda, and that lambda is nothing else but it's just given by this equation because that, 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 uh, that's the, uh, the force. Now, uh, Qy is just given by by this equation, and the q theta is just given by 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 this equation. Note that the qy is just the force, but the force multiplied by the 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 the, the distance is nothing else but it's just the torque, which is just the the q uh, the q q theta. Right now the Equivalence of Lagrangian and Newtonian uh, equation. The Lagrangian and Newtonian formulation of uh, equivalent. The viewpoint in difference. Uh, the viewpoint is a uh, difference, but uh, the content is just is just the same. Now the Lagrangian equation for a single particle is just given by 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 this equation as we have uh, derived it. But now uh, we can uh, we know what is uh, L. L is the differentiate between the kinetic and uh, the potential energy. And therefore, that can be written in this in terms of this equation. But we know that the the kinetic energy doesn't depend on the position, therefore this term will be zero. And of course, the u doesn't uh, depend on, on the x dot, therefore that will just be equal to zero. Therefore, that equation will just become this. So that equation will just become this. And now we can just define that in terms of the fi, the fi, which is nothing else but the, uh, the force uh, for, for a, a, a conserved system. We know that the Negative gradient of the potential is given as 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 as, as the force. Now, and if we take the the term derivative of this uh, kinetic energy term, it's nothing else but it's just this. This is just going to be equal to this because we know what is the kinetic energy. The kinetic energy is just this. But now, if we differentiate that, that will just be if we differentiate this term, we we, we are just going to have m x i because the two will, uh, that two will just cancel with the other one and what is that this is nothing else but it's just the rate of change in 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 in, 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 in momentum and then then uh, this is uh, nothing else but it's just the pi dot this is the pi dot this is the pi dot that is the pi dot why? Because this term here, this term there, you remember that the the momentum is just given by by that, but that is nothing else but it's just the the dot. Now, if you take the term derivative of this, what you are going to have? This is the momentum. Now, if you take the term derivative of m. What are you going to have? You are just going to be taking the the pi, uh, the pi. That will just be the, the 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 pi dot, right? I hope you are able to 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 see that. Now, in that case, the Lagrangian and, and Newtonian equation are identical if the generalized coordinates are the rectangular coordinates. Now. Let us uh, derive the Lagrangian equation of motion using the Newtonian concept. Uh, consider only a single particle for, for, for simplicity. We need to transform from the xi coordinates to the generalized uh, coordinates. Now, in that case, if we transform uh, that to, to the generalized coordinate, this is what we have. Now, if we take the time derivative for, for, for this, I hope you still remember uh, from the, the previous uh, chapter that uh, when you have the x i 
QI dead. Uh, we can just write this in terms of the DXI DQI and then the QI the DT and then that will be plus DXI D DT. I hope you still remember that. But what is this? This is nothing else, but this is just D DXI D DQI and then QI dot plus that this is I this plus D X I D D T. This is uh, from the previous chapter. So please don't be afraid to see to see this. Now and if we have this, this is just given by that. And now uh, a generalized uh, momentum associated with this is just uh, given by, by this equation there. This is the generalized uh, 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 momentum. And now in that case, for uh, example, for a particle moving in a plane uh, polar uh, coordinates, in a plane uh, po polar coordinates, this is what we are going to have now. The momentum is just given by, in the R, it's just given by mr dot and then for coordinates r and uh, for 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 momentum in theta this is what you are uh, going to have for 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 the coordinate theta obviously the pr is the linear momentum while the the p theta is just the 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 angular the the angular momentum if we just use that uh, that equation now let us also uh, uh, determine the general force by uh, considering the visual work uh, the visual work done by a, a varied uh, path uh, small uh, path xi now in that case we know that the work is just given by this equation now we can just write this in terms of this uh, nothing has been done there and then we know that this Oh, this term here is nothing else but it's the the, 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 the the QJ and then if you represent this as a QJ therefore that equation will just be given by by this now in that case the QJ is just given by by this by this by this equation now the the momentum part will just be given by by this equation here and then the PJ will just be given by this this equation. But now if we expand the, the, the second term, if we expand the second term, this is what we are going to have. Now the PJ will just be given given by by this equation here. And that can actually be be written in terms of in terms of of in terms of this 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 equation. That term it can be written in terms of that equation. Now the the momentum is or the kinetic energy is just given by this as a result that the, the the pj dot is just given by by that by 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 this equation and now if you use this this is the the qj is just given by 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 that equation as as we have uh, as, uh, done it before now if we take the time derivative uh, uh, for for this and then if you do that it must be equal to zero therefore the Lagrangian will just be given by 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 this equation now the uh, that is what you are that is what you are you are going to have now the theorem concerning the kinetic energy the theorem concerning the kinetic energy we know that the kinetic energy is just uh, given by that uh, and then for for for, for for the x coordinates uh, given by this this is what you are going to have for this this is what you are going to have uh, in terms of the sum and uh, this is what you are going to have but now we want to square this and now if we want to square this so that we can plug it in in in, in the uh, kinetic energy term i'm very sorry this uh, this uh, there, there was supposed to be a square there now if you square that and then you put back into the kinetic energy this is what you are you are going to have this is what you are going to have. That is what you are going to have. And now the T can actually be written. If we replace everything here, if we replace everything here by BJ, and then we this we replace by, by C. Now, important case occurs when the system is, is fixed. So that the time doesn't uh, the time does not appear explicitly. Now, if the time doesn't appear, this term will just be zero, and that 
and and then that table term will be zero and then therefore the kinetic energy will just be determined by only by this term will only be determined by the, the uh, that term as, as as i've said it is just determined by that term and then if we differentiate the kinetic energy with respect to q dot f this is what we are going to have now in that case uh, if you multiply this equation by q dot l uh, q dot subscript l uh, we have this uh, equation here and now in that case you can just see that uh, this equation is nothing else that equation will just be nothing else but it will just be equal to 2, 2t now if you this is an important result uh, is, is a special case of, of the Euler theorem which states that this is a homogeneous function now in that case that's that's what you you, you are going to have now let us also do do the Lagrangian uh, that describe the close uh, 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 revise the theorem of of uh, the conservation theorem, uh, conservation of energy. Now, the conservation of energy, we know that we want to make this uh, the Lagrangian with respect to time to be equal to zero. Now, in that case, this is what you are going to have. Uh, this is what you are going to have. Now, in that case, if you, uh, we usually, term does not appear, uh, but the Lagrangian equations are given by this equation there. Now, using that equation to substitute this term that equation this equation here will just become this equation or simply because this equation is nothing else but it's just the 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 term derivative of of, of this now if you want to expand this this term there is that this term is this term here but now we can expand we can shrink this by this or you can use the product rule to get this so that's that's what i'm trying to say so that if you take this and then the time derivative of everything there it must just be equal to zero good now the quantities in the parentheses is uh, therefore a constant and in time therefore denotes the this a constant by by minus h and that h is nothing else but what you call the the hamiltonian the hamiltonian Right now, if the potential energy u uh, depends uh, depends explicitly on or on the velocity or the time, therefore this is what you are going to have. And now the time derivative is 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 just given by zero because we know that the potential does not uh, uh, explicitly depends on 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 time. Therefore, this this Lagrangian is just going to be given by 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 this equation. Now. Equation uh, 1.28 can uh, be written in terms of this equation here that you are seeing there. Now, because we know uh, what is this, we just derived that it's just 2t, and then the, the equation will just be given by this. t plus u is nothing else, but it's the total energy of the system, which is just the Hamiltonian, and which is just the constant, because it is, it is just the total energy. Of, of the closed system the total energy is a constant of of motion for 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 this case now the function h is uh, what you call the, the hamiltonian of 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 the system it is important to also note that the hamiltonian h is equivalent to the total energy if the following conditions are met for an example the equation of transformation connecting the rectangular and the generalized equation must be independent of time uh, those ensuring that the kinetic energy is homogeneous a contracting function and the potential energy must be a velocity independent the potential energy must not be depending on the on the velocity those allowing the elimination of the term that term from the equation of the Hamiltonian right now the conservation of a uh, linear momentum uh, Lagrange in terms of the rectangular coordinates is just given by by this and then the change in l uh, caused by the small displacement is just given by by this equation therefore we can just write this uh Lagrangian in terms of this right that must just be be, be equal to zero now if you do the, if you consider only the varied uh, displacement so that the x are explicitly of of a function of time therefore this is what you uh, you have for that and therefore there's uh, becomes that 
term becomes becomes this and that must be equal to zero now because each of these uh, small uh, displacement in the coordinate x is uh, independent displacement uh, the small change in the Lagrangian vanish identically only if each of the partial differential of l uh, vanishes if this is just equal to equal to zero now in that case if this is equal to zero therefore we are just if this is just a constant if that is just a constant therefore we can just write this equation in terms of of this because that that only depends on 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 the on the, uh, the the we differentiate the kinetic energy with respect to to x dot and then if you do that this is what you are going to have and that is nothing else but it's just the pi which is just a constant right now the results can be interpreted as follows if the Lagrangian of the system not necessarily a closed is invariant with respect to a, a translation in the certain direction then the linear momentum of the system in the direction is a constant of time. Right. Now, the conservation of the angular momentum, the angular momentum of a conserved system does not uh, change if the system is rotated through a, an infinite uh, small angle. Now, in that case, if the system is rotated about the setting uh, exists by an a, a infinitesimal uh, angle, small angle theta, the radius uh, vector r is given by this. Now, this can also be written. Uh, that uh, vector can uh, this vector r can be written in terms of a small change in theta uh, the vector theta uh, cross 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 r now the velocities are also change on a rotation of the system and then the r dot the velocity dot is just going to be given by by that that will just be r dot and now in the rectangular coordinate the change in lagrangian l uh, caused by this uh, small uh, rotation is just given by 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 this equation here but if we use the previous equations uh, we can just show that the rectangular components of the momentum vector are given by this are given by 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 this equation now the pi dot is just given by the change in the differentiation of Laplacian with respect to the coordinate xi. Now in that case, hence, if we want to, that equation uh, 140 uh, can uh, becomes this. And, uh, and of course, uh, we can just write it in terms of this. And now this equation may be written as, uh, when we are use, uh, using the previous equations, it can be written in terms of this equation. And then we may, uh, permute in a cyclic order the factor of a triple scalar product without altering the, the value and therefore this is what you are going to have. Now the terms in plugins are just the factors that uh, result from the differentiation with uh, respect to. Now the differentiation with respect to time this is just the terms that will result with when you you differentiate with respect to time this is what you are going to have. Right. Now in that case this term is arbitrary, and we must have this term must just be equal to zero in order for us to have everything there to be equal to zero. Therefore, r cross p it must therefore be be a constant. Therefore, but we know uh, that r cross p r cross p is nothing else but it's just the angular momentum. The angular momentum of the particle is in the closed system is therefore constant with time. Therefore, we found. The, 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 the angular momentum is a uh, constant, uh, is, is actually constant with, with time. Now let us also, uh, let me also introduce as the last uh, part of this uh, uh, lecture video uh, to the canonical equation of motion or the Hamiltonian uh, dynamics. We found that if the potential energy of the system is a velocity independent, then the linear momentum of the components is just given by this equation. This is what we know. The Lagrangian is expressed in a generalized coordinate in terms and defined in, the, in terms of the generalized momenta by, 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 this, by this equation. And then the Lagrangian equation of motion the, uh, are then expressed in terms of the the the, the 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 p the p dot 
And now, using the definition and the generalized uh, momenta equation uh, 7.128, I'm not going to return back for Hamiltonian, may be written in terms of this equation. It may just be written in terms of this equation. And then we will do the example so that this can uh, make sense to you. We may solve equation 7.5.1 uh, for the generalized velocity and uh, express them as, as this uh, generalized velocity. Now, in that case, the Hamiltonian in terms of the, the the generalized position and the momentum as well as the time, therefore, is just given by this. Where this Hamiltonian, uh, it's, 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 it's a function of the, 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 the generalized coordinates and the momentum as well as, as, as the time when the Lagrangian is just, is, is also the, the function of, of, of the generalized uh, uh, positions and the velocities as well as time. I want you to know the difference between this. Here we have the momentum and then there we have the, the velocity. Right. Now, the total differentiation of H is therefore given by, by this equation. Now, we can also write this in terms of this. We can also write uh, from the previous uh, equations, we can write that in terms of this. And now, the 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 if we use the previous equations to substitute this term and that, the second and the fourth term will just cancel. This term, the second and the fourth term will just cancel. And then what will remain is we will just be remaining with this equation there. And if we identify the coefficients of, <coughs> sorry, this and the, and the dt between the equations, this is what we, we will find as the, the q the q dot and the p dot are just given by that and these equations are hamiltonian's equation of motion they are also known as the canonical equation of of motion right the description of motion by this equation is what we, we call or what we term the hamiltonian dynamics now further using the equation this equation and the other equation we will just find this equation here Right. Now, <coughs> as a last example, sorry, let us just do this uh, very last example. Use the Hamiltonian method to find the equation of motion of a particle of mass m constrained to move on the surface of the cylinder defined by that. The particle is subjected to a force uh, directed towards the origin and uh, proportional to the distance of the, of the particle from the origin, and then you are just given the the first day. Now, in order for us to solve this, we will therefore have to the potential energy, the potential energy uh, corresponding to the force is just given by this because you just have to differentiate uh, that force. Uh, you are just going to have that. U is just given by 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 this equation, and that the R is nothing else but it's just given by this. But we already know what this x plus r uh, plus y from the the, the question now this is what we are going to have for that now the velocity in cylindrical coordinates are just given by this but this r is just a constant therefore that term is not uh, going to be taken into account because it's it's but uh, r is constant so the kinetic energy is just given by 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 only these terms and then you take the square there the, that is the kinetic energy now the Potential energy is just given by that. Now the Lagrangian is just the difference between the T and U. Therefore, you are just going to have this this equation for for that. Now let us just do the 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 the, the general momentum in 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 theta and and, and in, in Z. Now for P P theta, this is what you are going to have. And when you differentiate with respect. Lagrangian with respect to d theta prime uh, a dot is uh, this, and then the pz is 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 what you call this uh, is given by this equation. The Hamiltonian is just the total energy expressed in terms of the uh, variables theta, and then the momentum uh, the p theta and z and the pz. But theta does not explicitly depends uh, uh, does not occur explicitly. Therefore, the Hamiltonian is just given by 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 this equation there. This is the equation for the Hamiltonian. And then, because the Hamiltonian is just the 
kinetic energy plus the potential energy. Now, in that case, uh, the equation of motions are, are therefore found from the canonical equations uh, to be uh, like this. When we differentiate that with respect to theta, it's just zero. Uh, when you differentiate h with respect to theta, because there's no theta there. But now, when you differentiate uh, that with respect to, to z, this is what you are just going to have. This is what you are going to have. When you differentiate with respect to z, the h with respect to z, this is what you are going to have. And then, from the equations that we have derived, this is what you are going to have. And therefore, this one will just be giving you this, and then the z dot is just given by this, and then if you differentiate that with respect to that, is you are going to have that. Now, this will imply that the p p p theta is uh, is, is just m r squared uh, theta dot, which is nothing else but the constant. And then the angular momentum about the z axis is uh, those a constant of motion. This is in sure because the z axis is the symmetry of 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 the problem, right? Now I would like to pause here and. Uh, here are the tutorials uh, problems and I would like to, to pause here. Goodbye.